Hello everybody, it's Marcos from Open Remote. Today I want to show you the new version of the designer which will be released soon, which uh, contains a new wizard for the RAS sound devices. <coughs> we log in. Okay, so uh, we don't have any devices configured and I select new RAS sound device. I have a RAS sound C5. I select the model and I have one controller. If you have multiple controllers which are cascaded, you can just select two or three and the appropriate amount of commands and devices will be created. If you finish, you see here all of the needed commands are generated for each zone of the Rasson controller we have a device and each device contains all the commands for the zone all the sensors, all the sliders and the switches. I have to separate it into a zone, uh, into devices for each zone otherwise if it's just one device there will be a lot of um, objects within it so this way it's a little more um, organized. So we're done here, we go into the designer, new panel, rust sound, I'll delete this old one here. So we select the background picture, it's the one I used before. We want to switch for the power, we select the button. off. Just the size a little bit. I'll put this up here. Uh, we want a label. Power. A little bigger. Okay, and then we want a slider for the volume. Okay, now we select the objects, the switch command. Okay, my office is zone 6, so I select the power for zone 6. The volume, I select the slider. Okay, sound 6 volume slider. Okay, and uh, I think my iPhone design already was loaded, so I'll just put another label here so we can see the difference. Uh, we call this office oh, just to see that something is happening. We save. And now we go to the modeler, to the controller. We sync our design. Okay, we go into the uh, iOS and here you can see my old design which didn't have the text yet. So uh, use the shake, shake gesture. We select the panel again. You say done and now you can see the text is there so it now loaded the new design and I turn on the music there we go I don't know if you can hear I'll increase the volume All there turn the zone off so um, <clears throat> this is the first step and now you can create your own design, feel free to add zones, everything is there for you, just have to put them in the design. 
And the next step is to combine this with our KNX switch, which I already demonstrated earlier. And uh, to do that, we create a new device, KNX. Uh, my gateway is uh, Siemens and for eight or something like that and uh, I want a knx command which is uh, read switch uh, switch is using group address 200 we just want to have a status and it's uh, one dpd1001 and we want a sensor so we call that sensor switch sensor we take the read switch command oops we don't need a new command and it's a switch sensor we finish <coughs> so now our system gets informed if uh, the KNX switch is turned on and off and the sensor value will change from on to off or the other way around. Now we want to combine that information to be used to turn on our RAS sound and we will use the rules engine for that. Uh, we have a really limited editor in the moment. You go to the controller configuration, you select rules and it's just a text field where you enter your rules um, there's some information on the forums, uh, there's more to come. Uh, I have something prepared here. Um, <coughs> the rules is based on the Drools project, it's open source, uh, you can find a lot of information on their website. Um, what we do here is we divide, define two rules. One rule is called turn zone 6 on via KNX and the other rule is turn zone 6 off via KNX. Um, and the rule works this way. We say when event happens and the event comes from this source which is the name of the sensor, our switch sensor, and if it has the value on then execute the command with the name zone 6 power on and the same for the off rule if the switch sensor sends the value off execute the command zone 6 power off so we save this rule now and uh, that's it we just don't have to do anything in the design save everything go back to the controller sync complete it we go to our iOS simulator, we verify it works, turn it on, can hear the music, we turn it off, and now I'm using my KNX switch. You can see I didn't use the mouse and uh, the UI updated automatically we increase the volume and now I turn it off again music off a little second later uh, Ras Hound sends its information and the UI is updated again so this was a little demonstration of a new designer with rules integration and uh, Ras Hound wizard and uh, yeah Enjoy!